Can you sleep in a wig? I'm here to address that question today because I have received so many variations of that question in my four years of being on Instagram, sharing my hair loss and wig wearing journey. And it's a question that people want answered. So I thought today we would dive into it and I would go to sleep in my wig. Of course, there are different types of situations where women would want to go to sleep into a wig, whether someone was in the same bed with her, or maybe it was a sleepover or a trip with family or people that she just didn't want to know that she was wearing a wig. So I totally get all of those scenarios and I have fallen asleep in my wig several times when I was pregnant, not intentionally, but just because I could not control my sleepiness. So I've been there and I will say from my experience that I did wake up with the wig a little bit off position. It wasn't really where it was when I put it on initially when going to bed and it was a little bit tangly in the back. And although I would not recommend going to bed in a $1,500 wig like this, I really wouldn't recommend that um, as an ongoing pattern. I think the occasional going to bed in a wig, as long as you're not turning on your side or definitely not on your stomach, um, I think you'll be okay. My goal is to make a weekly video of can you do XYZ when it relates to wigs or how to do it if you can do it. And I'm a stay at home mom, so I know I may not be as consistent as I would like to be, but my goal is to have a weekly video just kind of answering these questions and showing how they are done. So if you're on the verge of buying a wig or you have a wig and you wanna know what the answer to these questions are, you can see someone else tackle those for you. If you feel led to, please subscribe to my channel and give a like, give a comment, do whatever feels good for you. Um, I want my channel to be interactive and so the more that you interact with me, the more it lets me know what people want to see, what they don't want to see, what they like and don't like. And so I'll take any type of feedback you give. Here are some tips I have if you are going to wear a wig to sleep. Tip number one, I would not personally wear your most expensive or any really expensive human hair to bed on a regular basis. I know, like I said, it happened to me a couple times, but anything that becomes regular, it really just damages the lifespan of the wig. But for the <laughs> purpose of this video, um, I am going to wear this one to bed, and it is about $1,500 human hair, and this is a new wig. I actually got it last year and then just took forever to wear it, but um, I would recommend using a cheaper human hair wig or a synthetic wig. Now, the type of wig that you're gonna wear definitely matters. This is a lace top. Now, lace wigs just don't last as long as silk top wigs because lace is just very vulnerable and the wigs can last years, but you wanna be really, really careful. So if you have two different types of wigs, a really expensive lace top wig and a silk top wig, I would definitely choose the silk wig. My next piece of advice would be to wear a wig grip underneath. Now, some wigs like this one have clips on the side, and instead of clipping them into your hair, that can be damaging to your bio hair if you're kind of pulling on it for that long throughout the night. So I would recommend making sure you have a pretty good ponytail with your bio hair underneath using a wig grip on top like I have. That's why I'm able to just kind of like lift it up and down and then you can put this on top of it. Now some people might think that putting the clips in of the wig could have extra security and that is totally up to you if you wanted to do that but in my opinion I just don't didn't like that pulling um, and I only intentionally slept in my wig like two years and that was at the very beginning of my journey a few years ago um, but the times I just passed out and fell asleep I didn't know what was going on. Um, but I would just say if you are trying to do that, then I would put a wig grip on underneath just to prevent it from pulling out your bio hair. My next piece of advice would be to brush the wig out. So you want to make sure there are no tangles, nothing that could kind of snag that already kind of has a little tangle in it just because that could get even worse overnight. And this will really help you kind of do the next step, which is when you go to sleep, split the hair on either sides. So you want to kind of split it and then bring it forward and lean back. And this way, it'll just help not kind of get tangled in that nape part of your head and it won't pull on other areas. So once you lay down, you can lay flat on the pillow like that. If you're a side sleeper, then you might have to be careful to not get too much on the side. I know some side sleepers like to get their face kind of in the whole pillow. If you sleep on your stomach, then I 
probably would not recommend sleeping in a wig at all. It's, this definitely suits people who sleep on their back the best, or a side sleeper, but not a side sleeper that's kind of all into the pillow. I guess there's no really way to tell whenever you're sleeping to know that you need to take care of your wig, so there's nothing to really kind of manage that part except if you do wake up in the middle of the night or kind of budge like we all do, just <laughs> try your best to be like, okay, I have a wig on, like, so you just make sure I'm in the right position. And when I did sleep in my wig intentionally a couple times, I had those thoughts when I woke up a couple times in the middle of the night. And it was pretty funny that I was able to think of that, but you, there's no way to predict or to control whether you can. But yeah, that's just another factor to kind of consider. Now, some women like to wear scarves over the front of it or something of that nature, and that is totally up to you. Totally depends on you. I would be really careful if you have a lace top wig. Like I said, lace is way more delicate, and if you have a wig this expensive, I wouldn't want to mess with anything that could ruin the lace. So when it comes to waking up, I recommend if you don't want anyone to know that you're wearing a wig, that you wake up or anybody else does. So that way you can kind of go to the bathroom real quick, do a little refresh. I might even take off the whole wig in the bathroom just to kind of reset the situation underneath and then fix the wig and then come back, whatever that looks like for you. But I know it can be a kind of a really scary situation. I do know um, a woman who was on a girl's trip and there were about 10 other women and only one of them knew she was wearing a wig so she felt really uncomfortable. So she woke up earlier than everybody else did and went and kind of fixed it herself and then woke up with everybody else even though she had already kind of adjusted it. and then just come back in here and turn on the camera and turn on the light but um, this is what it looks like now that I've woken up I did decide to switch wigs I told y'all that last night but it looks like this um, it doesn't really feel too tangly um, so that's a good thing and like I said I only really sleep on my side or my back um, but I briefly just looked in the mirror and I can't see that well with my contacts but you can tell that the wig has kind of slid back a little bit so that's what I'm saying if you are wanting to wake up before other people and kind of check your wig if that's your concern then by all means do that because that is what I noticed is that the wig kind of slid back a little bit and um, some of the return hairs right here were kind of poking up I'll show you a little bit of an up close of what it looks like even though I don't have any makeup on and um, yeah I'm kind of a hot mess this is what it looks like. Um, I think you can tell that it's not totally on where it's supposed to be. It definitely moved back, but that's kind of an easy fix. If you wanted to fix it, um, you would just, you know, move it forward. But I would probably in the bathroom go ahead and like take it off and then put it back on. Um, but yeah, I'm still really exhausted. I've got to go wake up a baby and I am so super super tired. Well, yes, you can sleep in a wig and this wig is not as high quality as the other human hairs I wore, I wear so that is why I chose this wig but it seems to be okay right now and so yeah like I said wouldn't do it all the time but if you have a lower quality wig or um, it's a rare occasion it's not the end of the world.
Thank you for watching my video today on can you go to sleep in a wig. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. It was really fun to make and yeah, I'm excited to make more of these videos. My name is Sarah and thank you for joining my channel and watching this video. And just remember, if you are losing hair, I hope you are not losing heart and you have a blessed day. Bye.